Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into something incredibly exciting, using the Hunyuan video model to transform static images into dynamic videos. I've developed a custom workflow that leverages this powerful model, and I'll be sharing every detail of how it works, the challenges I encountered, and how to get the best results. The Hunyuan video model represents a significant advancement in AI-powered video generation. While there are several video generation models available today, Hunyuan has some unique characteristics that make it particularly interesting for image-to-video tasks. What sets Hunyuan apart is its sophisticated understanding of motion and temporal consistency. The model was trained on a vast dataset of videos, learning to understand how different objects and scenes naturally move and change over time. However, it's important to note that we're using it in a somewhat unconventional way. The original model wasn't specifically designed for image-to-video conversion, which is why we need some special techniques to make it work effectively. One fascinating aspect of Hunyuan is its text-to-video capabilities, which we'll be leveraging in our workflow. The model understands the relationship between textual descriptions and video content, which is crucial for our image-to-video conversion process. For this workflow, I'm using an NVIDIA RTX 4090 with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. This isn't just a luxury, it's practically necessary for running Hunyuan effectively. The model requires significant computational resources, especially when we're pushing it to generate high-quality video outputs. With the RTX 4090, we can process images at 500 and 12 times 512 resolution, which is our target size for this workflow. This resolution provides the best balance between quality and performance with Hunyuan. If you're working with different hardware, you might need to adjust these parameters accordingly. Step one, image preparation for Hunyuan. The first crucial step is preparing our input image to meet Hunyuan's requirements. The model expects images in a specific format and resolution. We resize to 512 times 512 pixels because this is the optimal resolution for Hunyuan on our hardware configuration. Going larger than this can lead to VRAM issues and potential instability in the generation process. Step two, advanced caption generation. This is where we use the Florence 2 model's PromptGen version two. This step is critical because Hunyuan's performance heavily depends on accurate and well-formatted text prompts. The captions generated by Florence 2 are particularly good, but they need specific modifications to work well with Hunyuan. When Florence 2 generates captions, it typically includes terms like image, photo, illustration, or painting. However, Hunyuan was trained to understand video descriptions, so we need to carefully replace these terms. This isn't just a simple find and replace operation. We need to ensure the modified prompts maintain their semantic meaning while being optimized for Hunyuan's understanding. Step three, latent space processing. The next step involves converting our image into Hunyuan's latent space. This is a critical process where our image is transformed into a format that Hunyuan can effectively process. The latent space representation captures the essential features of our image in a way that allows Hunyuan to understand and manipulate them for video generation. Step four, Hunyuan model integration, two o'clock. Now we come to the core of our workflow, the interaction with Hunyuan itself. We're using a specialized image to video LoRa that I've incorporated into the workflow. This LoRa is crucial because it helps guide Hunyuan in understanding how to add motion to static images. This is where we need to be particularly careful. Since we're using Hunyuan in a way that wasn't originally intended, we often encounter specific limitations. Motion tends to be somewhat restricted. Certain types of movements may appear unnatural. Visual glitches can occur, especially at the edges of moving objects Temporal consistency might sometimes break down. Step five, 
final video generation. In the final stage, our sampler takes all the processed information, the encoded image, the sanitized prompt, and the LoRa guidance, and generates the final video output. This process requires careful parameter tuning to get the best results from Hunyuan. Tips for best results. When working with this Hunyuan workflow, I've found several factors that can significantly improve your results. Simple, clear images tend to work better than complex scenes. Avoid images with multiple moving elements. Keep your prompts clear and focused on the type of motion you want. Consider the natural motion patterns that would make sense for your image. While this workflow has its limitations, it represents an exciting step forward in the world of AI-powered video generation. The ability to breathe life into static images using Hunyuan opens up countless creative possibilities for artists, content creators, and developers alike. The field of AI video generation is evolving at an incredible pace, and what we're seeing today is just the beginning. I'm particularly excited about future developments in this space. We're likely to see improvements in motion consistency, better handling of complex scenes, and perhaps even the ability to generate longer sequences. The techniques we've explored today will continue to evolve as researchers and developers push the boundaries of what's possible with models like Hunyuan. For those of you looking to experiment with this workflow, remember that patience and experimentation are key. Each image presents its own unique challenges, and sometimes the most interesting results come from unexpected combinations of parameters and prompts. I'll be continuing to explore and document new developments in this field, so if you're interested in staying updated on the latest techniques and improvements, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Your subscription helps support the creation of more in-depth technical content like this. If you found this tutorial helpful in understanding how to use Hunyuan for image to video conversion, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the algorithm recommend this content to others who might benefit from it. Drop your questions and experiences in the comments below. I'm always excited to hear about your experiments and help troubleshoot any challenges you encounter. And hey, if you've created something interesting using this workflow, share your results in the comments. Building a community of creators who can learn from each other's experiences is what makes these technical explorations so valuable. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video where we'll continue exploring the fascinating world of AI-powered content creation.